Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Thursday, June 13th. Uh, wrapping up this week so far, let's head into, into it in the American League. We had the Yankees and the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Royals end up walking off on the Yankees today. Uh, it's two out of three for the Yanks, though they do win that series. Uh, the White Sox in Seattle. Seattle also finds a way to win that series. Uh, in the National League, we had the Pittsburgh versus St. Louis. And uh, St. Louis ends up taking two of three from Pittsburgh there. And then Miami and the Mets. It was two to one New York. And now let's get into that interleague. You want to go over it? You want me to get sure, through this? I'll go over it. Yeah, it was, right. uh, it was a jam-packed interleague. Uh, never really seen anything like this before. 11 interleague series. Uh, Milwaukee takes two of three from the Jays. Um, uh, pardon me. Minnesota takes two of three from the Rockies. Padres end up sweeping Oakland. San Francisco takes two of three from Houston. Uh, Texas uh, rallies late in uh, game three to take uh, that series against the Dodgers in L.A. Uh, Arizona took two of three from the L.A. Angels. Uh, Cincinnati and Cleveland ended up splitting a two-game series. Uh, Boston took two of three from Philadelphia. That was a little surprising. Uh, Washington ended up taking two of three from Detroit. Uh, Baltimore took two of three from Atlanta. Pretty uh, good finale there in that one. And uh, Tampa ended up taking two of three from the Cubs in the Trop. So um, we both go eight, six, and one. Uh, no games gained. Uh, still seven back for you. We went three and three head to head. Um, but it actually could have been. Uh, this was a swing week for us. I mean it. Uh, we had two two series decided today, so some somebody really could have gained two games, and but uh, we both went one and one today, so end up splitting the week. So um, yeah, pretty solid week. But uh, yeah, anything that stood out for you for for this week or no? Yeah, I mean Kansas City had some trouble with the Yankees for the most part. They did squeak the last one, um, and you know right there in the ninth. But yeah, outside of that, that's a team we did contenders or pretenders for. You know, they're going up against the Yankees, who are the best team in the American League so far. Yeah. So that was a good test for them. And they got banged up a little bit the first two games. So, um, yeah, that was the main thing. Atlanta obviously is scuffling right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they were able to take one in that Baltimore series. That's big for them heading into the next series. But, yeah, we just got to stay the course as far as our records go. Yeah. You know, at one point <laughs> I was 15 back. I'm still seven. You know, just gotta just stay right there, and then uh, I'll get your ass at some point. <laughs> All righty, let's get into it. Uh, starting the American League, we have the Cleveland Guardians heading into Toronto to take on the Jays. It'll be Logan Allen versus Kevin Gosman, Carlos Carrasco versus To Be Determined, and then Ben Lively versus Jose Barrios. Um, yeah, so Toronto played pretty well against Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, ended up still losing that series. Cleveland's just been consistent. I didn't. I thought they were going to fall off a little bit, but you know they've been taking care of business. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Cleveland in this series. I do like the Jays pitching better, but you know Cleveland's been the more consistent team, the hotter team. So I'm going to go with the hot hand. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Jays here. Um, like you said, kind of an encouraging series against the uh, Milwaukee. Um, they led after the seventh inning up until uh, that third game, so they had a chance to win that series. Um, so we'll see. There are three games out of a playoff spot. Um, they got their three top dogs going in here. So um, and they're they're at home. They they're pretty dog shit at home, to be honest. But I mean, um, for, for whatever reasons, the new renovations, um, it's just kind of turned it into a hitter's uh a non-hitter friendly park, I should say. It's it's really weird how that's kind of happened the last two years, but I'll go with the Jays here. All righty. Next up, we have the Oakland A's heading into Minnesota. The series is already underway. Tonight was Luis Medina versus Joe Ryan, and the Minnesota Twins ended up winning game one. Tomorrow will be Mitch Spence versus Simon Woods Richardson, then Joey Estes versus Bailey Ober in game three, and then rounding things out will be J.P. Sears versus Chris Paddock in game four. I'm going to go ahead and go with Minnesota. They need this series. Um, they actually, you know, they need to win three, uh, if not sweep this. Mm -hmm. Um to kind of creep back in the division. Um, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go with, with the Twins. Um, off to a good start already. We obviously we make our picks before. Yeah. Um, but off to a good start. Um, Got to win two more to win the series. 
Yeah, the uh, blew a save there uh, last week. Who did they play again? I forget who they just played. I want to scroll up. Who did they just play? Um, uh, San Diego. They 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 got walked off there. So a um, couple tough losses in San Diego for Oakland. I too, I'm gonna go Minnesota here. Um, they they're just the better team to be honest. So I wouldn't be surprised. I hope they just played Colorado. Was it Colorado or San Diego? Um, pretty sure it's San Diego. Yeah, at San Diego, oh. Oakland at San Diego. Colorado played. Oh, Minnesota. Oakland, Oakland. Yeah, I was talking, talking about, about Oakland. Minnesota. No, no, got I was it, talking about it. Oakland. Oakland got walked off a couple of times uh, once there, so uh, walk off homer there. So yeah, I'll, I'll go Minnesota here. Sorry for the long winded. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have the Red Sox versus the Yankees. It never gets old, in my opinion. It'll be Luis Hill versus Brian Bayo. Carl Shodan versus Cooper Criswell and Marcus Stroman versus Cutter Crawford. Uh, pitching matchups don't look that good. I mean, Luis Hill versus Brian Bale might be one to watch. Uh, Cutter Crawford has been good this year, so I guess you can take a look at Stroman versus Crawford. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Yankees in this series. Um, it is in Boston. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll be, I think it'll be one of those series where they go into Fenway and kind of beat them up. I mean, it just seems like the Red Sox are kind of down right now. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Yanks. They are coming off that series win versus Philly, though. But, yeah, I'm with you with this rivalry. It, it does never get old. Obviously, the Red Sox, like, it's obviously better when both teams are good and the, and both teams are contenders and, you know, fighting for the division. Um, It's not really been that way in a while. Uh, It is kind of weird to see how – bad anthony rizzo has been struggling lately like he's he, it's uh he's losing some playing time over at first base so i was kind of interesting to see kind of uh the way he's been swinging it lately so hopefully he gets back on track but yeah i'm gonna go with the yankees here too yep next up it'll be the tigers heading into detroit take on houston it'll be Tariq scuble versus hunter brown jack flaherty versus justin verlander and kenta maeda versus spencer arigetti been waiting for Houston to get going. Um, they won a series against uh, the Angels, and then they just played this last series, and it didn't go the way they wanted it to against the Giants. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and take Houston. They are at home. Um, it's just one of those things where Tariq Skubal versus Hunter Brown scares me, but you got <laughs> Verlander in between that. You know, can they find a way to win? Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go with Houston, uh, but I'm not – that confident in it yeah i'm gonna go detroit here i like their pitching better obviously that verlander start would be tough but i mean he's not really the the same verlander like as we're accustomed to coming off tj um so we'll see that don't really know much about spencer arigetti but uh yeah scooball that should be a win um houston it feels like it's just like three steps forward, six steps back, two steps forward, four steps back. Like, I feel like they get closer and then they just, then they lose a bunch of games. So, um, there's just, it, there's really no consistency there for them right now. So, um, yeah, they got to get going for sure. Rounding out the American league we have the Texas Rangers heading into Seattle, to take on the Mariners. It'll be Andrew Heaney versus Luis Castillo, Nate Eovaldi versus George Kirby and Dane Dunning versus Logan Gilbert. If Texas wants to get back into this thing, they got to go now. Um, with that said, I am going to go ahead and go with Seattle. Their pitching has just been dominant. It's probably going to win them the West this year. Um, go check out that video. We did a con contenders or pretenders for Seattle as well. Um, obviously, their offense is what it is. Don't mm -hmm. want to spoil too much of that video, but that pitching is really dominant, and this Texas Rangers team does seem like they have that World Series hangover. So I'm going to go ahead and go with them. Yeah, they... They are coming off that big series win in uh Dodger Stadium. Uh so that was that was big. Some some big out uh late in that game by that bullpen yeah. tonight. Um Robertson back to back days. Um I'm gonna go Seattle too. Um you're you're not gonna throw it a better three starters than that right there. So um yeah, I'll uh I'll go on their identity here and side with that pitching. Getting into the National League, we have the St. Louis Cardinals heading into Wrigley Field to take on the Cubs. It'll be Kyle Gibson versus Jordan Wicks, Andrew Palante versus Shota Imanaga, and Miles Mikolas versus Jameson Tyon. Uh, the Cubs let me down this past series against Tampa. 
Um, may have been one of those teams where I feel like sometimes they're really hot and sometimes they're just not. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Cubs just because I believe in them a little bit more than the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. Hats off to the Cardinals. They have been playing better baseball of late. Mm -hmm. um, but with that said, uh, I am going to go with the Cardinals. Shota Imanaga on the mound and Wrigley. I uh, got to find a way in one of the other two games. Yeah, no, I'll I'll go with you there. Um, the Cubs are kind of pretty similar to the Astros, to be honest. Um, it's just it's just been an up and down roller coaster. Sometimes they they show that they're uh, a a good team and possibly a playoff team, and then there's some games where it's like, what what is going on here? So, um, yeah, I'll go with the Cubs here. I'll go with the Cubbies here too. Next up, we have the Miami Marlins taking on the Washington Nationals. It'll be to be determined versus Mackenzie Gore, Trevor Rogers versus DJ Hers, and Jesus Lazardo versus Mitchell Parker. I don't know why I'm going to go this way, but I am going to go with Miami, to be honest with you. Doubling okay. down. <laughs> I, I'm doubling down with them. Uh, what stood out to me when I was looking at this was Jesus Lazardo. Again, kind of just that, that theory of, hey, if we can get the Lazardo start, can we take another one somewhere? somewhere else Mackenzie Gore is going to be tough it's probably going to come down to that game too the Rodgers versus hers uh I know Trevor Rodgers I don't know who DJ hers is so that kind of played into my decision I'm gonna go with Miami I'm gonna go Washington I took Washington last week and they won uh, I'm a big fan of Gore there in game one Lizardo will be tough in game two Mitchell Parker has been he's had uh some decent games uh season starts here lately um so it'd be interesting to see if that offense can can hold up I mean Miami's Miami struggles to score runs, so we'll see what happens. Yep. Next up, we have the Padres taking on the Mets. It'll be Matt Waldron versus Sean Mania, Adam Mazur versus Jose Quintana, and Dylan Cease versus Tyler Meagle. I'm going to go ahead and go with San Diego. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things where the Mets are what they are. Um, the Padres also have been a team that have been up and down, up and down. Um, but I do like the Padres offense better than the Mets um, and the pitching overall. So I'm going to go with the pods. Yeah. Mets uh big walk-off win to win that series today. JD Martinez with a two run Homer uh, against uh, the Miami Marlins to win that series. So um, they end up taking that one, but uh, I'm going to go with the Padres here, uh, even though they are on the road, but uh, Waldron's been good um, dancing with that knuckleball. And obviously you got Cease there in that third game. So, yeah, I think that San Diego will win this one too. Next up, we have the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. It'll be Hunter Green versus Freddie Peralta, Andrew Abbott versus Bryce Wilson, and Frankie Montas versus Colin Ray in game three. I'm going to go ahead and go with Cincinnati in this one. Um, they've been playing better ball of late. Milwaukee hasn't wronged me or anything like that. They've been more consistent than Cincinnati. Um, but I think this is a big series for the Reds. Uh, if they want to start to creep, they're a talented ball club. They're just, they've lost a lot of close games. Yeah. Um, they've been playing better ball of late. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and go with them. I'm going to go Milwaukee. I just watched them the last three games. Uh, they are just a very opportunistic bunch. Like they hung around against the Jays there in that third game. And then bam, two big two run homer. For, by Willie Adamas to kind of to, to put them ahead. Um, they steal a lot of runs. They they do a lot of hit and runs. They first and third bunt plays. So like they kind of remind me of the Tampa Bay race. They're the National League race. Like that's that's just what they are. They scrap runs across um, and, and they just find a way to get it done. Uh, it's not the sexiest of baseball, but it works for them. So um, props to them for uh, for figuring figuring out how to do that but uh yeah i'll go with milwaukee in this one rounding out the national league we have the pittsburgh pirates taking on the colorado rockies it will be to be determined versus ryan feltner jared jones versus ty blotch and to be determined versus dakota hudson uh pirates they have the pitching they don't really have the offense but they're in coors field <laughs> you could say the same thing for colorado rockies um I will never take the Rockies on the road most of the time, but I might take them at home. But this time around, I am going to go with the Pirates to win this series. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Pirates as well. Uh, it was crazy to see Paul Skeens get a standing ovation on the road. That was a little weird. Never seen that before. 
Um, but uh, he's obviously not pitching in this series, but I too will go with the Pirates. Heading into the interleague, we have the White Sox taking on the D-backs. It'll be Chris Flexen versus Ryan Nelson. To be determined versus to be determined and Drew Thorpe versus Jordan Montgomery. The White Sox are one of the worst teams potentially of all time. We'll see how that shakes out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the D-backs. Not much more to say. Yeah, the White Sox, it was uh, pretty concerning to see that Seattle barely snuck by the White Sox. They walked them off twice. That was really weird. Um, Luis Rober or Robert, is it Robert? Robert, 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 whatever you want to say. Uh, he's been hitting a lot of home runs lately, kind of boosting that trade value. Had a couple big home runs in that Seattle series. But, yeah, I'm going to go Arizona here. No surprise. Next up, we have the Rays taking on Atlanta. It'll be Zach Littell versus Chris Sale, Ryan Pepio versus Charlie Morton, and Zach Eflin versus Hurston Waldrip. I'm going to go ahead and go with Atlanta in this series. I think this is the perfect team for them to face. Uh, the Rays don't score too many runs. Atlanta hasn't been scoring too many runs. Um, pitching wise, it will be tough, but if they can get going against the Rays and put up at least four to five runs a game, they probably will win this series, if not sweep. So we've seen Tampa um, get swept a couple times this year um, and also drop a lot of games that are uh, low scoring. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Braves in this one. Yeah, it. Uh... It was really weird doing a little deep dive into the Atlanta's offense since the start of May. It's one of the worst in the league, which is very, very uh, concerning. Uh, it's not ideal. Obviously, you miss a guy like Ronald Acuna Jr. in that lineup, but there's still a lot of bats. Austin Riley's got to get going. Um, he's kind of the he's got to be the driver of that bus without Acuna. Um, yeah, but yeah, the offense has definitely been sputtering since since the early parts of May, but. I am, too, going to go Atlanta here. Next up, we have probably the series of the weekend. It will be the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Orioles. It will be Ranger Suarez versus Kyle Bradish, Taiwan Walker versus Grayson Rodriguez, and Zach Wheeler versus Corbin Burns. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Phillies in this series. I like Bradish and Burns for Baltimore. I think the pitching lines up a little bit better. But Phillies a, a little bit hotter than Baltimore as it, as they step in. And then the best team in the National League, and that's saying a lot because National League's been stacked while the American League has not been. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go with the Phillies. Um, I think it will be a really good series. Um, but, yeah, I like uh, I like how many power bats yeah. uh, the Phillies have. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to go Baltimore here. I, I do think that Philly gets the edge slightly. Like, I think Ranger Suarez slightly over Bradish there. I think you give the edge to Grayson Rodriguez over over Walker, and then obviously Wheeler and Corbin. That's that's pretty much a, a coin flip, if, if you yeah. want to say. But, um, yeah, th this series could go either way, but I'm going to go Baltimore here. They're at home. I think they're going to find a way to get this done. But, yeah, this definitely series of the week, I agree. Yeah, pitching matchups are good, obviously. The Rodriguez-Walker. Really good offense, too. You know, yeah. I was, I was, I'm, I think that I would take Rodriguez over Walker. The other two are kind of coin flips. Andrew mm -hmm. Suarez has been one of the best pitchers in the league. Yeah. But yeah, moving on, we have the Kansas City Royals taking on the Dodgers. They go from the Yankees to now the Dodgers. It's going to be tough. It's going to be Cole Reagans, though, on the mound. They have their ace versus Gavin Stone, Seth Lugo versus Yoshinobu Yamamoto, and Brady Singer versus Tyler Glass. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Dodgers in this series. Like I said earlier, that Yankee series was a really big test for KC, and though they were able to scrap one, um, they didn't look very good. And uh, But the Dodgers did just lose 2 of 3 to Texas. They've been kind of, I wouldn't say confusing. We know they're going to be there at the end. Yeah. But I'm starting to get concerned about the Dodgers as far as like how many of these series are starting to pile up where they lose. Right. You won't. Um, yeah. Against like decent teams. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll see what they do with the trade deadline. They have all the star power in the world, but it seems like that's the team that kind of can't get it done in October um, when the lights are brightest. So I'm really curious to see what type of playoff um, players that they get, like guys that have been there and done it and have that uh, even kill. But I am going to go ahead and go with the Dodgers in the series, but I am interested to see how Kansas City comes out against them.
Yeah, I'm gonna go the Dodgers, dude. Do you think they have like too many players that are used to be like guys on other teams and they're all together now? And you you feel like it's you feel like there's a little bit of ego thing there or no? Because you got no. like I I don't think it's an ego thing. I just think that like if we just use I don't know Kyle Schwarber. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The obviously Kyle Schwarber's not gonna get traded there, but like. Kyle Schwarber always hits a home run in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't feel like they just they don't have that guy in their in their lineup that's just like, oh, when they're in the playoffs, that guy's gonna go crazy. Right. Bryce Harper's like one of those guys. You know, I'm gonna right. use the Phillies for example, but they just have those guys that just do big things in the playoffs. Yeah, we haven't seen the Dodgers do big things in the playoffs. Yeah, like like in the past Otani five years in the playoffs yet. So like that. Like, yeah, we'll yeah, see. I... And maybe he's a guy. Maybe he's yeah. the one to do it. And we just yeah. don't know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll go the Dodgers here. I just want to get your thoughts on that because they they brought in a lot of guys this off season, and sometimes when you do have a, a little like a big overhaul, sometimes they don't mesh as well. So yeah, interesting yeah. to see. Rounding things out, we have the Angels heading into San Francisco take on the Giants. It'll be Tyler Anderson versus to be determined, Patrick Sandoval versus Keaton Wynn, and Jose Suarez versus Kyle Harrison. Yeah, so the Angels, they're not a very good baseball team. So uh, with that said, I'm going to go with the Giants. They've been playing pretty good ball of late uh, for the most part. They just beat Houston. Um, so, yeah, pitching-wise, I don't see anything that like really stands out to me in this series. Uh, Tyler Anderson's been pitching real well. Maybe that's a guy that you watch that start to see. You know, He's going to get traded most likely. So, he's got um, one year, year of left, control. Right? Year of control after this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, maybe that's a guy that you want to watch, but um interested to see how this Angels pitching does in San Francisco, a big yard. So uh yeah, but I am gonna go with the Giants. Yeah, I'll go with the Giants here too. Um not not really much of a surprise there. So um yeah, the, some good matchups, uh some not so good matchups, but yeah, I, I'm really interested to see that uh Philly Baltimore series. I think it's gonna be really good. Yep. That's gonna do it for this one. In review, I have Cleveland, Minnesota, New York, Houston, Seattle, Chicago, Miami, San Diego, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Arizona, Atlanta, Philly, L.A., and San Francisco, while Blake has Toronto, Minnesota, New York, Detroit, Seattle, Chicago, Washington, San Diego, Milwaukee, Pittsburgh, Arizona, Atlanta, Baltimore, L.A., and San Francisco. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. As always, we appreciate you guys for watching and listening, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.